My name is Emily Rose Jacobson. I am a actor, writer, and gamer in Los Angeles, and I'm originally from Houston, Texas. I started gaming when I was super young, uh, playing edutainment games on my PC, and I kept doing that throughout my life until I was about in middle school, and that's when I got a bunch of viruses on my PC, so I had to make the kind of the switch over to console, and I have stayed there because I really love how consoles play with uh, gaming journalism, very much on the go, social media very much on the go. I have such a very active lifestyle. The game drive fits really well into my lifestyle. I can take it with me, I can go to my friend's house, I can bring my games uh, to her place, and we can stick it on her Xbox. So the video game industry was some uh, industry that I always wanted to be a part of, I just didn't know it. But after college, I found myself there. I do a lot of the reviews for Geek Girl Authority. I also kind of do our most anticipated games of the month. I think that video games deserve to be broken down in a very artistic way. Movies get it, television gets it, and I think video games are an artistic platform. What really brought me into video games was the stories that were being told in there. I think video games hold such a, a promising place for storytelling, and it's games that are open world or games with super strong narratives are the games that I'm really drawn to and that I love to play. Gaming to me is an art form. It's a storytelling device. It's an interactive storytelling device where you get to experience a story through a character, through your own character, whatever. And the more voices that get to tell those stories, the more people it reaches. A very big part of gaming journalism, of course, is reviews. If you can get yours out fast enough, and be the first one because that's when it will be seen. If you wait too long for a review, you're kind of in dead water. So with that, I have to be able to download a game, play it, uh, complete it if it's story-based, play enough hours if it's multiplayer-based, to be able to write, to me, a good review. And with so many games out there, it's really, sometimes it gets frustrating on my console because I need to download a new game, but I don't have enough space, but I don't want to erase all my other games because I want to come back to them later. With the game drive, I don't have to worry about that at all. And I can just plug it in, pull up the game, and start going. It's professional. It's really professional.